Next, we're going to be evaluating polynomial functions. This is something you've actually done before. Um, we practice using function notation, so it's just going to be a review. So for this particular example, anytime we're using f, we're going to use negative x cubed plus 2x squared minus 10x plus 20. And for g, we're going to use x squared plus 3x minus 4 to answer these questions. So the first question here is f of negative 5. I'm going to start down by writing down what f of x is. So f of x is equal to negative x to the third plus 2x squared minus 10x plus 20. And the negative 5 is in parentheses. So that's what they want us to plug in everywhere we see an x. And remember, you should be using um, parentheses to be safe. So now we're just going to simplify here. This negative stays separate. Negative 5 to the third power is negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5, which becomes 25 times negative 5, or negative 125. Plus 2, negative 5 squared, which is negative 5 times negative 5, is positive 25. So right now, I just um, simplified all those exponents because I'm using pandas. Next, I'm going to do the multiplication part. So here, um, negative 1 times negative 125 becomes positive. 2 times 25 is positive 50. Negative 10 times negative 5 is also positive 50. And here we have the positive 20. So if you add those all together, you'll get... 2, 125, 50, 50, 20, 245. Okay. Um, the next problem, we're going to find g of 3a squared. So I'm going to be using g of x for this one, which is the x squared plus 3x minus 4. And everywhere I see an x, this time I'm going to plug in 3a squared in parentheses. From here, um, on this one, I'm squaring it. Remember, squaring just means you're multiplying it times itself. So you could also write this 3a squared times 3a squared. So I just expanded it. Um, here, 3 times 3 is 9. And a squared times a squared is a to the 4th. Because remember, when you multiply, you add exponents. 3 times 3 is squared is 9 is squared. And then we have the minus 4. Since none of these are like terms, because the exponents are different, you can leave your answer like that. And then on this final problem here, we're still going to use g of x. So I'm going to write g of x again, the x squared plus 3x minus 4. Um, but this time, we're going to plug in 2b minus 3. So everywhere I see an x, I'm going to plug in the 2b minus 3. Um, here, for 2b minus 3 squared, you cannot just give out that little 2 because of this minus. So we actually have to do it times itself. So 2b minus 3 times 2b minus 3. So I just expanded that problem, and now I can do the multiplication. 2b times 2b is 4b squared. 2b times negative 3 is negative 6b. Negative 3 times 2b is negative 6b. And negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Here, 3 times 2b is 6b. And 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. So now that I multiplied, um, I can start to combine like terms. The only b squared there is the 4. So this stays 4b squared. And now I'm going to combine the terms that have a b. So here I have negative 6b, negative 6b, and positive 6b. Um, 
The negative 6 and positive 6, one of them will cancel because that's 0. So we're really just left with negative 6b. And then here we're left with 9 minus 9 minus 4. 9 minus 9 cancels, so it's just minus 4. And since none of those are like terms, you could leave your answer like that.